On this poignant day, the eyes of Washington are on the Old Pueblo, more specifically on Tucson schools. And today I caught up with a very distinguished guest who says Southern Arizona is a pioneer in education, but points out it's far from perfect. Pomp and circumstance. Normally reserved for game day and graduation. On display for a visit straight from Capitol Hill. Is it exciting to have the secretary in town today? Yeah, my heart's beating really hard right now. U.S. Secretary of Education Arnie Duncan spent the morning immersed in Tucson schools. First, arts and crafts at TUSD's Dodge Middle School, painting coins for the nonprofit Ben's Bells and Talking Shop. He was asking us if we liked our school, what high schools we want to go to, and if we have to test or if we get accepted. Second, a tour of technology at Sunnyside High School. The secretary told Sunnyside students their use of all digital text serves as an educational example, especially since, according to the Obama administration, less than 20% of American teachers say they have the technology they need in the classroom. It actually has national implications. But he admits more challenges lay ahead as Arizona adjusts to new rigorous common core standards in math and reading. For me, the trade-off is very simple, where states hold themselves accountable to a high bar, where they're not ducking, you know, uh, not trying to reduce standards. We want to give them more flexibility. Luckily, Tucson leaders say this visit serves as motivation. People are seeing the importance of, in Washington, of this region economically in our relationship to Mexico, but also in our relationship is kind of a, a community that values education and wants to see more money put to education. And today's visit was part of a multi-state bus tour across the south, southwest. A side note, the secretary says he plans to take those Ben's Bells coins back to Washington to spread kindness on Capitol Hill.